Hello, my fellow creators, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, I've got another mini haul for you. Um, this order came in, and it is from Echo Park Paper, and I made some purchases during their warehouse sale. Oh my, I got lots of goodies. Sometimes I order, and then I forget what I ordered. So a box will come in and my husband says, what did you order? It's like, I don't know, let's, let's take a look. So I did order this stamp set by Echo Park. It is, um, what is the name of this one? New Arrival stamp set. And given that I got two new grandbabies this year, I wanted to um, get some more stamps that were baby themed. So I did get that. And then I got some six by six paper pads. So again, new grandbabies, one's a boy, one's a girl. I got the baby boy paper pad, six by six paper pad. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what papers look like. Oh, that's cute. So these are boy themed. Oh, they're so cute. I don't want to take too long in this video, so let me just flip through really quick. As you can see, there's some nice blues and greens. There's clouds and stars and moons. Nice wood grain pattern, little storks, little duckies, nice little cut aparts for um, each month. Really cute. And so this one has 24 double sided papers. So I think it's 12 and then two of each um, sheet. Then I got the baby girl. Let's see this one. Oh. Didn't quite get that. Sorry, I should have opened these before I started, but I got so excited to open the box. So let's flip through these real quick. You can see these are pinks and greens and like peaches, salmon colors, butterflies, storks again, some cut aparts, little swans. Really cute, really cute um, paper. So that's the girl theme one. Then I did get some, this other one, it's Magical Birthday and boy themed it says, but really anything um, with Disney type theme is boy or girl. Just beautiful paper. I think I had some of this before from a card kit and I used it up, but I do love it. So I got another one. And then I got this Winter Magic. Oh, this one's open, that's good. And so you can see, oh look, little, making little snow angels. So pretty. Not that I need more Christmas paper. I'm pretty well caught up on all my Christmas cards. Um, I do an annual donation to a skilled nursing facility and I donate 300 cards every year. And at this point I have made almost 500. So I think I'm good on Christmas cards, but I just keep making them. And I got this bundle of joy set and um, this is the boy one. I don't know if I should open these. 
Okay, let's go ahead and open them. We'll open them up. And then it comes with this sheet of stickers. Really cute. And it comes with these um, 12 by 12s. So it looks like it comes with two of each, which is good. I like that. Oh, this is nice. Nice cut of parts. So two of each. A nice yellow. I like that. Adorable little whales. And again, two of each. Very cute. I'll set this one aside. That is the bundle of joy. Oh, if you could only see my workspace right now. Uh, this is the bundle of joy. Little, that's my girl, the little girl version. Again by Echo Park. Let's open it up, and it has the same. Um, I believe two of each paper, and then the sheet of stickers. So it has the sheet of stickers, and then looks like yeah, two of each. So then you have this one, polka dots on one side, and then these cut aparts on the other. Beautiful. Oh, I like this pattern. Oh, I actually like this for um, if you're gonna make a card for a seamstress or a crafter or something, but I like that. And my mom is a seamstress, so I have an idea for a card for her with that. Oh, beautiful flowers. Nice, nice paper. And it's a nice weight paper. I don't know if it says on the cover what it is, but it's a sturdy paper. It says, let's see. Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> no, it doesn't say the weight of paper. But that's okay. So there's that one. Then I got homegrown. And this one. So a sheet of stickers. And then the sheet, the 12 by 12 papers, two of each. There's 12 sheets. Six different designs. So this is nice. Nice summery theme. And I know we're in winter, but <clears throat> gotta think ahead. Oh no, this doesn't look like it's two of each. Just <clears throat> hmm. 12, 12 by 12 papers. So let's see if it's two. They just stored them in a different fashion. Oh, I like this honeycomb pattern. Oh, beautiful florals. There's some nice cut aparts here too. Let's see, have I repeated any yet? Not yet. Looks like it's just one of each uh, design of the 12 by 12s. Yeah. I like the color on here. So that's a nice set. That's pretty. <clears throat> Our next set. I think I got ten altogether. One, two, three. Yeah, I got ten. So I probably should be a little quicker with this than I'm being. Sorry for all the crinkly noise of opening packages. Okay, oh no. All right. 
beautiful little mermaid set. Nice stickers. I have several granddaughters that that would work for. And let's see, it looks like this one has 12 different designs as well. So one of each. Very pretty, very, very pretty. I really don't have too much rainbow stuff. I don't even think I have a rainbow stamp set. Maybe that's, I mean, not rainbow, mermaid, a mermaid stamp set. I think I might have to get one. But this is beautiful paper. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, I like the pastels on here. Again, some nice cut aparts. And last year, uh, for Christmas, I made each of my grandkids a their own little um, photo flip book that they could attach their own photos to. So I made them different themes. This may be one I can use for um, my eight-year-old granddaughter. Very nice. And this is the Mermaid Dreams set. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Okay, the next set is Hello Baby. It's a boy. This is the same, I believe, as the... No, it's not the same as the 6x6 six six I got. This one's different. All right. Shoot stickers. That looks like one design of each again. I mean, that'll work for me. I don't scrapbook, so, um, and I mostly make uh, USA two size cards or mini slim lines. I'm starting to make more of those. So this is enough. Beautiful paper. Oh, look at that. See, and this doesn't necessarily have to be for a baby card. It could be for something else. This one as well. Oh, look at that. I like that this has oranges and yellows. Really pretty. On this one, you know, I'd probably use this side because I'd have a hard time. I mean, how do you just use, unless maybe I, I spell someone's name, if they have a short enough name. I don't know, I have to think about that. Huh. <clears throat> Very nice paper though. You know, these warehouse sales can be quite dangerous. And this week, you'll see a few um, mini hauls from me because I think I got five different packages. Four, one, the one I did yesterday, this one for today, and then two, two more. The, the third package isn't paper crafting, it's from uh, Olive and June, so it's my nail polish. All right, this is the Hello Baby, It's a Girl. Beautiful stickers, oh, so cute. Such a big miracle in a little girl. I think that applies to all babies. They are miracles. Okay, here's our color, our pattern paper. I like these pastel -y colors, they're really nice. And again, it's one of each 12 by 12 paper. Mm 
nice cut of parts. It says, just when you think you understand what love is, something little comes along to remind you just how big it really is. I had my um, son-in-law ask me, hey, when you became a grandma, did you love your grandkids instantly? And the answer was a resounding yes. The minute I laid eyes on them, I fell in love with them. Each time, and I have nine grandchildren. So it's, it's a love beyond words. It's a love different than your kids. I tell my kids that I love my grandkids even more. And maybe that's because I get to spoil them and I get to just be grandma and not take care of all the tedious day-to-day -day discipline and changing diapers and feedings and running them back and forth to games. So in my opinion, being a grandma is the best. So there is a Hello Baby. It's a girl. Ah, oh, this one's adorable. I had some six by six paper. Um, which one did I have? That I bought at a, a local store that was going out of business. And they just had individual sheets of the six by six. And I used it up because there was only a few sheets. Didn't know what paper company made it or anything, but I fell in love with it. And when I saw this, I said, aha, that's the stuff. So let's take a look. The sheet, the stickers again. And here are, now this one does have two of, of each design. Very pretty. Oh, so very pretty. Nice. And I'll tell you, I believe it was this design that hooked me. Um, it was. It was that on that side and then the flowers on the back. So I'm glad I found it. The 12 by 12 version and I love these cut aparts. I'm happy when I'm crafting. That is so true. So so true. Whoop. So see this cut apart, the back of this one has this uh, cork pattern and the back of this one is the cover. I like how they do that so you're not wasting paper. Very good idea. So that's I'd Rather Be Crafting by Lori Whitlock. And then here I got Magical Adventure. So this is similar to the six by six, but it's not the exact same design. The other one was Magical Birthday. And this is Magical Adventure. And I miss going to Disneyland. I mean, we only live an hour and a half away. And growing up, we took our kids every year to Disneyland. And we took our grandkids and, you know, we haven't gone in over two years and we miss going. So we're still going to wait a little bit um, before we go back. I know the prices have gone skyrocket high. So maybe that's a family trip we can do in a few years when the new babies are a little bit older. Okay, so here we go. This one has two of each design as well. Beautiful. that with all the tickets does anybody remember when to get into Disneyland you had to buy the books of tickets and you know you had your A ticket your B ticket your C your D your E the good rides were the E ticket rides and you would have to buy more books if you needed more E tickets to get on those rides um, and then Eventually, it became just one pass that got you onto everything. Which, I mean, I think that's a great idea because 
buying more and more books could get costly. However, the one ticket price is a little outrageous at this point. <clears throat> okay, this is, sorry, the Happy Halloween kit. Let's see. Almost done. Almost done, guys. i to finish up because i got to head out to work soon. And so this one, again, contains a sticker sheet and two of each of the 12 by 12 pattern papers. Beautiful. Very nice. Ooh, I like those spider webs. And some beautiful cut aparts. All right. And then last but not least, the baby girl set of papers. Her sheet and this one has just one of each pattern it looks like but beautiful nonetheless this one I think is the same one as the six by six I got let's see baby girl yes it is so I have both the six by six and the 12 by 12 on this pattern paper Oops. <clears throat> beautiful papers, beautiful. And that's it for my 12 by 12s. I also got in the warehouse sale a couple of ephemera sets. I got the frames and tags. And this goes with, let's see if I can get you a closer up look. There we go. This one goes with the um, magical birthday set that I got. And then this one, frames and tags, is the Halloween. I love Halloween. Let's see. There you go. So, as you can see, uh, I got quite the order from Echo Park, and I'm excited to play. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye.